If you watch illegally downloaded movies, beware, someone could be watching you. The Canadian film industry has hired a forensic software company to collect data on a million Canadians who it claims have illegally downloaded movies and other digital content. The company says a recent court decision forcing internet providers to release subscriber names and details is just the first step in cracking down on the huge piracy problem in this country. Robin Gill reports. Thank you, Scratch. 50 people thought no one would find out they had downloaded this movie illegally. No, I don't want to see a whole lot of new faces. But the producers went after them in federal court in Montreal by demanding the internet service provider give up their identities. A judge agreed. It sends a message to people who are engaged in illegal downloading that rights holders are becoming more aggressive about enforcing their rights. The BC production company behind the film, NGN, and similar firms have hired a forensic investigator to go after peer-to-peer -peer file sharing sites. The investigation has uncovered a million names and addresses of Canadians who they say are online pirates. It almost seems like uh, downloading is a way of life. Uh, here in Canada. The Canadian movie industry is following in the footsteps of its American counterpart. In the States, production companies have been targeting individual users for years with lawsuits. Now Canada has a new copyright law which went into effect this month. We just have gaps where privacy is concerned. Legal minds are pouring over the legislation known as Bill C-11. They expect there will ultimately be a charter challenge. What you're doing in your home, in your bedroom, in your living room when the internet is on is not private anymore. It's being watched and it's very much an activity that's considered to have public ramifications. The film companies don't think they're doing anything wrong, even though they've been collecting information long before C-11 came into effect. It's not an invasion of privacy because we are not targeting anybody uh, on an individual basis. We're collecting and harvesting publicly available data and we're analyzing that data and that practice is in place all around the world. Right now the motive is deterrence. The intent is to go after repeat offenders who face a potential $5,000 fine. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.